it's just a, like one of the best feelings like you can have. You're on your home floor, chance to win a championship. Every All eyes on you, 11,000, 11, whatever. It, everybody's watching. Biggest stage of probably everybody's career at that point. Um, and you just know, just lay it all out online, and whatever happens, happens. And, and I think the, the team did that. And, you know, we I, I think I watched that game probably a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, uh, just I was flipping through, and I went to Synergy, and I pulled it up just so I could see the energy in that building. And I went back and watched Adam's game-winning shot. It's just some of those things and uh, just an amazing time. It gives you chills and, and to see everybody rush the floor after. It, it's, it's never been a time like that. I had it in, at, in a bare jersey. Um, I go back and do that day all over again. Yeah, it's actually crazy because I mean, if you look at the four or five games, I think before that Wichita State game, which was our last home game, I was struggling um, making shots and that's more, I mean, I've been like that my whole life. It's not, you know, even if we win and stuff, I'm mad at myself. And, you know, I can see it on myself. My dad always said, I can see it. You know, you're getting upset about yourself. Uh, but I was struggling. But I was in the gym getting extra shots up and working and working and working. And finally against Wichita, I think I hit five against Wichita too. And uh, uh, I walked over to my dad and my family was over there at the game, the Wichita State game. I started crying. And, you know, obviously I was happy because we won, but – a lot of it was because finally I watched the video not that long ago where I'm looking at my dad and I go, finally, like I'm making some shots. Uh, and it was a huge relief because it did transfer over and, uh, you know, into the conference tournament and stuff. Getting goosebumps just talking about it right now. You talking about it. Uh, you definitely won't forget it. Uh, going out there, it wasn't just, I mean, I said 11,000 people, places packed, but even the standing room was crazy. Uh, but the student section too, man, the student section was awesome. Like the uh, everybody that showed out in the student section, it was every single home game. Uh, I know for a fact, our senior year, my senior year, um, that that student section was just packed to the brim. Um, but yeah, coming out of that tunnel into that game, I mean, it was, uh, it was by far the, the greatest memory that I've had playing basketball. And that includes going to play in the Rupp Arena and playing at Duke uh, and even playing an NCAA tournament. I mean, that, that coming out of Wichita, against Wichita in our tunnel, man. That was uh, something I'll never, ever forget. And as a as a freshman, you know, we had that game and stormed the court and all this great season. I, I, at the end of the year, I said, man, I made the right decision. You know, this place is awesome. And uh, while it was awesome, loved it in full career, nothing ever even came close to touching that game, I could say for sure. Uh, one thing I do remember is whenever the court uh, got stormed afterwards, Isaiah getting trampled and me trying to save him for his life uh, from the student section. I still remember that Z, you owe me one. I'll tell you that much. All right, I got a life lesson. So if the court is getting stormed, don't run directly into the flow because <laughs> even, no matter how big you are, you can't take it. I went down, I really thought we won and then I thought my life was gonna end at the bottom of a pile. But then I said, no, it's not it. And I started pushing, people started pulling people off. Thankfully made it out. But that was that was crazy. I'll never forget that. But then I, after that, I remember uh, just hugging Keith, and he was bawling his eyes out, and it was like a really special moment. So, yeah. eyes and nose. I'll tell you, the aftermath of that game was equally fun too. The uh, <laughs> the uh, celebration that occurred that night was something that I'll never forget as well. Um, but no, that, that game was incredible from start to finish. I remember my parents came the night before and, and I was so nervous. I was almost sick. I didn't sleep the night before, you know, going into the game, feeling that electricity was incredible. And then, you know, Adam hits that shot. The celebration happens. The celebration kept going. It was, uh, it was probably the best day of my life from start to finish. Yeah, and to add to, add to Will's point, um, I don't think any of us – probably got any good sleep that night and we had shoot around that morning because that was an early game what like noon or something yeah noon game. we had an early morning shoot around which we probably didn't do too much but walk over plays or something but for me um coming out the like the tunnel I've never really paid attention to the fans because I don't know it's like I try to block it out so I never pay attention to the fans until like the first time out or something when you're sitting down and you you're sitting there and you're like oh holy crap, there's a lot of people up in here. And when you're looking around, you actually get time to catch your breath and kind of think. Or maybe just sitting down when they're calling the starting lineup and you kind of look around. You know it's loud and you kind of look around like, yeah, there's a lot of people in here. 
But to know, I think a day or two before the game, they told us that the game was already sold out. I thought that was crazy. I thought it was impressive. And it was ESPN too? I think for me, like, uh, I think it was a mixture of nervousness, like Will said, but also the emotion because I knew for a fact, I don't know if there was just going to be, I had one more year left. I knew there wasn't going to be a team, a team as good as what we had. So it was pretty much do or die. So like Will said, I didn't sleep. My family had came in town, I think, two days before the game. I think we played at noon that day. There was no shoot around. It just, it just wasn't really a normal day. Um, but we knew what was at stake. And the main thing before my individual game, before how many points, rebounds, whatever that I scored, all I cared about was we had to win that game for Adam, Will, Feast, and Jermaine. Their families were in town. It was senior day, and we had a chance to win the first outright conference championship. So I didn't care about anything else unless we had one point more than Wichita State that day. And, man, it was, to this day, the only other days, there's three days that are probably better than that day, and that was me being married and my two sons being born. Other than that, there's not a better day. Period. It's just not a better day to see them be able to hug their moms, their dads, their loved ones, hug us, us cut the nets down, see Coach Martin emotional the way that he was. And then, like Will said, be able to go and celebrate that in the right way, the way that we were able to do it. Um, I guarantee you that anybody on this call and the people on our team that are unfortunate enough to not be able to join us tonight um, will definitely agree with what I'm saying. It was just from the time that I woke up at 8 a.m., I think we had maybe an 8.30 shoot around or, or a walk through something with, with, with a, a pregame meal in prime time to the time when the confetti dropped and we cut the nets down and there's nothing that I can say that could top my time in Springfield than those four to five hours. And back to what Adam and Nafi said and, and even Z, the work that we put in, it just came full circle. And that's what made all of that so, so special. And it's something that I'll never forget. For me, it just seemed like that was it for all of us. I know we wanted to leave out as winners. And I knew this was probably this was probably gonna be it for all of us. Like we we knew that we probably either the NCAA tournament was gonna be next. But I think Wichita State game was always personal. I know we even from our junior year, we was going at it like we knew their names, we knew exactly what players got gonna do what. So it was really like Coach Martin really stressed that scout report. Know your scout report, know who you guard and take take it personal. So when you see eleven thousand, it's like Y'all supposed to be with us because Wichita State, when we went there, it was a packed house. But I can tell when Will – Will was kind of like the guy that's going to get us all ready for the game. So when you got Will on your side, and once Will is mad, it's no stopping him. Like, he brings all the noise. So when that 11,000 was coming behind us, it was easy to play. And I can just remember when we won the game, me and Will, I can remember myself had holding the signs up. I need a job. Or I want to work for ESPN. And me and Will stand on the top because we were just so excited about how much work that we put in. And, like, I don't think none of us slept probably for the first – I mean, them two days, like the day before and that day because we literally played, shot showered, and then went out. Like, we was out the whole day. But the good thing about it, all our family was there. And we was – even though we was from all different places, they all was together. So it made it easier for us to know that it was safe and they were in good hands and, then, and they got to enjoy the process of, of, of us of winning this game, but let alone – being a close-knit group, like we said, like this call is amazing that we all on here and for the people who can't, like it just to show that the camaraderie that we still have to this day, like we can look back at these memories. Real, real quick, real quick, funny story. Big Z, your, your boy Garrett Stunts, the, uh, I've been playing against him for the last three or four years in Japan and he's still not over what the things that I said to him in college that day. <laughs> he, 
I mean, it's and 10 years later, he's still, he still can't look at me without, without being mad. I said, <laughs> I, uh, it was personal with Wichita. He, he's, yeah. he's still not over it. So to piggyback off of that, I played against Joe Raglan. Uh, one year he was in Russia. Another year he was in Italy and he still was pissed that I, uh, when the last shot came from, it was either Teray Murray or David Kyle's, and I threw the ball up before everybody rushed the floor. He was still mad as hell that uh, I did that before they had to go to the locker room. <laughs> so uh, that was also a, a good feeling, you know, to add to to what Will said. For Adam, uh, his shot when we, it was tied 64-64, I mean, come on. I, I It's funny, I had uh, – sent something to him individually, maybe even Jermaine and Fees and Will, I'm not really sure, during the summer when, I, I, you know, the pandemic was crazy. We had nothing, no sports to watch, and I popped that game in. And, I mean, that's as clutch a shot as you can get, in my opinion, in my career of all time. Um, it had so much on the line, uh, mm -hmm. all the blood, sweat, and tears that we had into it. So going away – his momentum was taking him towards the scores table to hit that at that point with that magnitude of the game. I mean, it was no it hesitation. Was, I think that's the biggest shot of, uh, of the season for sure. And the best thing about it is we, we had saw Adam do that so many times, shots like that. And that shot was, it was contested, got trailing him. Um, but I remember like it's a short story, like on my visit, I had no idea who Adam Leonard was. I think he had just transferred in and here he is just three after three, right in my face. And I'm like, man, who is this dude? Uh, I get to campus and I, you know, get to know him and everything. And it's just, that's what he did. He practiced those shots. He worked on those shots. Uh, he had the confidence to make any shot that he, that he took. And, and I remember asking him like, yo, like what goes through your head when you shoot these shots? Like, he's like, I just think I'm going to make every shot I take. And it's just, that was his mindset. So, you know, he gets in the stage like that. It was never a moment too big or too small for Adam. So when he got that ball, he knew, I think the play was maybe X2 uh, was was the play call. And I still have that playbook from that year, but he knew he was getting that ball. He knew if he got it, he was shooting it. And, and he probably knew that he was going to make it. That's just how he thinks and his with his confidence.